I am Dr. Pooja Jai Singh to be e-learning evangelist. Let's continue talking about how you can use this feature to create stunning interactions for your courses. Remember one thing, this feature is a part of the exclusive update that we have released for our subscription and ASA customers. Now let's uh, take a look at one of the example screens that I've created using the drag and drop interaction. What I've done is I've used this interaction to categorize stuff. So here you can see that I have placed four bins which are categorized as glass bin, metal, paper and plastic bin. And there are some waste objects here and we have to place them in the correct bin. So this, these are glass bottles and as soon as I place it on top of the glass bin, you can see that it goes inside the bin. This is a metal object and when I place it on top of the bin, it goes and sits inside the metal bin. If I try putting the plastic object in the glass bin, it goes back and gives me a caption try again with a sound being played. Uh, so you can easily do this uh, by categorizing all these objects. You can also reset these objects and try doing it again. It's a great way to teach people how to categorize stuff. So now let's look at how you can create this fun interaction using the uh, drag and drop interaction in Captivate. Here you can see that I have created the screen and I've added these objects here. These are just images that I have added. What I've done is for these bins, I have added names here so that it's easier for me to identify when I'm uh, setting the interaction for the uh, for the objects that have to be placed in these bins. Don't worry about uh, naming them. You can leave that. We will be anyways categorizing them as a particular type of object. So as a best practice, you can go and name it. But I would say you can leave it as well. So here all these bins I have named as plastic bin, paper bin, metal bin and glass bin. With, with all these objects in place, we will go to the insert menu and click launch drag and drop interaction wizard. In this wizard, it is very easy to identify the drag sources and the drop targets. There are very simple three steps. In the first step, you have to identify the drag objects. In the second step, you have to identify the drop targets. And in the third step, you have to show the relationship between the drag source and the drop target. So here in this first step, let's uh, identify the drag sources. But here we have to do one additional step along with identifying the drag sources. We have to categorize them into the categories related to these bins that we have to use for dropping them. So what I will do is I will select the first object, which is a glass object, and I will shift and select the other glass object. Now with these selected, I will go and click the plus sign next to add to type. When I do that, it allows me to add a category. So I will add a category class and click OK. So these are selected as drag sources plus categorized as glass. Now next one is metal. So I will go and select the metal object and I will shift select the other metal objects present on this screen. So there are four of these objects. I've selected them, shift selected them and now I will go to add to type and click the plus sign and say metal. Easy? Okay, the next thing is we will go and shift select the paper objects. With these selected I will just go and say paper and the fourth one is plastic. So I will select these three objects, click the plus sign and say paper. Okay, with the drag sources selected and categorized, we'll click the next button and now it's time to uh, identify the drop targets. So what we can do is you can just go and select all the drop targets and these will, these will be marked as the drop targets. You can identify that by the blue outline around these drop targets. With that, click the next button and now the fun begins when you have to associate the drag objects with the drop targets. So what you can do is you can easily click the plus sign and uh, drag and drop it to the glass bin. 
okay the good thing here because of categorization is that as soon as you do this action for the first object the other object that is a part of the same category will be associated automatically so you don't have to do it for all the objects just do it for one of the object from the category and the rest is done by captivate let's do the uh, this for uh, the other objects as well so i'm doing it for plastic for and now last for paper so this is done and now with that i will click the finish button and that will enable this particular interaction for me either you can use it as a question uh, item where uh, you allow them to drag and drop any of these objects in any of the bins and then evaluate or if you want to use it as an interaction or a practice exercise you can do something which i will show you now so you can select one of the bins and go to the accept panel and here you will be allowed to decide which objects you want to allow in this bin by default all the objects are allowed and then the evaluation takes place but if this is a practice type interaction just go ahead and select only one uh, type of object that you want to allow in this particular bin so i'm doing glass for this Similarly, I will go to the metal bin and select only metal, go to the paper bin and select only paper and then the last one where I select only uh, the plastic objects. So with this done, my interaction is ready. I can do some cosmetic changes here by adding some audio, adding some effects to these objects and make it look pretty and nice to work with. Thanks for watching this tutorial and I hope you like this interaction as much as I like it.